not worried about him, but I am worried about what they will try to do in terms of galvanizing uh, support among Democrats. And as Kate will tell you, they outvoted us 100,000 in the Democratic primary. And he's got a plan to identify who these people are and make sure they hear from us about Senator McCain, myself, and Governor Palin. We got state house races where several of the, the state house members are right on the bubble. We've got three state senate seats that are going to be, uh, quite frankly, uphill climbs. And Mike knows numbers matter in the legislature. So I've spent a lot of time talking about Senator McCain going all over the country, but I've also spent a lot of time at home. We've got money in the bank. We're going to spend it. We're going to raise money for victory. We're going to need uh, your energy. If John McCain is spending one dime in South Carolina in October, we screwed up. So it is our goal to take South Carolina case off the map and allow some of the money that we would be spending there to go to other places. I've enjoyed my first term in the Senate. It seems like it's been a hundred years in many ways. I don't know how you live to be a hundred doing this. <laughs> but I can tell you that after last night, we're on the verge as a party of breaking out. And John is going to lay it on tonight, guys. And I'm going to speak about the war. And I'm going to be a lot harder than Governor Payton was. I'm going to say that Barack Obama would lose the war in that campaign. So now is not the time to be shy. There have been too many men and women who have lost their life and them, who have worked too hard, sacrificed too much, to just be patted on the back. Tonight, we're going to tell the whole world, and a lot of we're winning and we're going to win. God bless you.